Hello everyone, I am Dr. Suresh Kumar, Consultant Medical Oncologist at Kaveri Medical Center, Chennai. I will be talking about chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting. So why chemotherapy causes vomiting? So chemotherapy passes through the blood to the brain and it activates certain areas in the brain called vomiting center. So this can lead to vomiting. Sometimes chemotherapy can also irritate the lining of the stomach and intestine which can also cause vomiting. So how to avoid chemotherapy induced uh, vom nausea and vomiting? So one is medications. So we prescribe a lot of medications to prevent uh, uh, vomiting. So some of these medications are given before chemotherapy. Some are taken for 3 to 5 days after chemotherapy to prevent nausea and vomiting. Despite this, some patients can develop vomiting because each person is unique and each person handles these drugs di uh, differently. So if a person continues to have vomiting, then he should consult his doctor and uh, we change the drugs so that uh, the vomiting is effectively controlled. Regarding drinking, a uh, person who has vomiting and, uh, or nausea should take 8 to 10 glasses of uh, liquids per day to prevent dehydration. So this liquid should be taken uh, slowly at regular intervals. Cold and clear juices also can be taken. Avoid drinks which contain caffeine because this can cause dehydration. So also avoiding liquids one hour before food or one hour after food is also important because taking uh, liquids with food can cause uh, uh, distension in the stomach and can worsen vomiting. Regarding eating, uh, patients who have nausea or vomiting should have uh, small meals at a frequent intervals. They should eat slowly, chew the food properly. Also avoid food which have a strong smell because the smell uh, reflects stimulated vomiting in patients. Relaxation methods like uh, yoga or meditation has also been shown to reduce the incidence of nausea or vomiting. Despite all this, if a person continues to vomit more than 3 to 4 times a day or if vomiting persists despite medication, then immediately consulting your doctor is very important. Thank you.